I'm Nils Fram. I'm a composer living in Berlin, coming from Hamburg, um, like Steinberg. And I'm using Cubase since many, many years. Um, I play live music. I compose in a studio. I did mastering jobs, engineering. And so I'm really happy to be here in exchange with Steinberg discussing ideas. I grew up in a family which was very musical. My father um, is a musician, like a self-taught musician, and he wanted me to have lessons because he never had, so I was very much encouraged. And from this very kind of free approach to music, from his side and to a very classical approach from my teacher, I kind of tried to always find a way to combine the more academic side of music, the more, yeah, um, what you call ernste Musik maybe in, in German and the kind of pop music or jazz or free jazz and electronic music. And so I always wanted to make music which kind of uh, inhabits both worlds. In the past I recorded uh, a lot of piano material uh, which I was producing in my own studio um, using all kinds of different recording techniques and uh, you could call it sound design to a certain extent and I always wanted to explore the possibilities of make electronic sounds sound acoustic and acoustic sounds sound electronic. When I was 17, starting making music with a computer really changed the possibilities, the set of sounds I could produce and create. And I realized that there's musicians, but there's also instrument makers. And for me, a studio is an instrument. So. Cubase is an instrument for me and um, the more I play it, the better I get at it. Um, you can practice it like a piano almost or like any synthesizer or guitar or any other instrument. I think I own too many pianos, so there's pianos in my rehearsal room, a piano at my home, pianos in several places and they all sound different but for me they are a big source of inspiration. So. Usually how I start my compositions or my music is to just set up the microphones, set up all the technicalities to make a recording, then try to forget about the recording, just play. And um, then I would post edit the material I just improvised mostly and compose it, for example, just by cutting it together in the sequencer. For me personally, um, coming from a generation where there was always hi-fi hi -fi and music around and for me nothing is more inspiring than hearing a great sound and you need inspiration for composition. So for me the compositions really come into place when I'm hearing something already, then I'm having ideas. So I'm always looking for an economic way to do certain things. So to say when I'm using Cubase I having a very probably unique workflow with it and it really helps me to realize the musical ideas I want uh, to realize and uh, I couldn't imagine a world without a sequencing, uh, cutting elements, layering them, crossfading them as easy as I can do it with a sequencer software like Cubase. I know Cubase uh, not inside out but well enough, I have lots of fun with it, it's very intuitive for me and um, the strongest uh, yeah, argument for using it is um, that it just has both like a huge MIDI universe which I use every day for my live performances to uh, synchronize my um, gear when I play live performances um, to just have all the options with all my MIDI instruments, have a good workflow, all the effects and um, routings and what, what not. And on the other hand, it has like a flawless audio implementation, something I really trust. I can really zoom into the waveforms up to I see the steps of the, of the audio and change things and be very accurate and coming. Also, I used it for mastering a lot because it's very transparent and it doesn't want to be just pretty. It's just really honest software and I trust it 100%. I, I, when I do a mix down, I don't need to listen twice, it's there. I just, um, yeah, of course, everybody, everybody would probably say that about their own software, but what I've learned and what I've seen, 
I just never had the feeling I had to look somewhere else. A good software for me is a software which um, gives you a lot of angles to approach, um, to kind of define your own workflow and find your own path out there in the mountains. Um, so you kind of have the feeling you're not forced to do something the developer wanted you to do. And I feel like there's a lot of software which is really creative and very fast and very intuitive on the market. But personally, I kind of like the humbleness of the appearance of Cubase, which basically invites the user to just realize their own ideas. There's a lot of helpful things to be creative, which I don't expect from a sequencer program personally, but um, it just leaves me the space to really feel like I'm doing something unique there, which um, maybe even the developers have never thought could happen, but it's possible. And now talking to the developers, I, I see like, okay, they've never expected somebody to use a software like that, but it's, it's, uh, it's just expanding universe where uh, I feel like everybody can make it there. Meeting the developers uh, of the software for me is a big honor, of course, because I used the software for so long and would have never expected to be able to just address my very personal ideas and uh, seeing that they might come to, uh, to fruition in the next update. It's a very amazing feeling. It's a feeling like being part of something. You can also give input and get feedback and have, of course, the uh, support of a company. I feel like um, taking that home, knowing, okay, I'm looking forward to the next update. There will be something special in there and I can still like use it the way I want to. This is a good feeling I'm taking home because it's important.